Okay, today's lesson is on topspin. One of my subscribers said, hey Tom, can you give us some tips on how to control your topspin more, how to improve your topspin? Okay, you've got to understand the basics first. So if this is my contact point right here, to get topspin, you have to start lower. So you're swinging up and you get that brushing effect. Next thing you have to realize is you've got to have a semi-western grip where you're turned over and the racket face is naturally closed or at least an eastern grip where you could push the palm of the hand down. So at the low point of your backswing, the racket face should be facing towards the ground. Okay, so you need semi-western or eastern. Many of my other videos show the grips up front and close. So you need the right grip. It has to be low to high. When you're hitting the ball, you, the racket's moving from low to high and it's driving through the shot. That automatically gives you the brushing so you're going to get that ball spinning forward, and that's all top spin is. It creates air pressure on top of the ball, always pushing the ball down. Now, it doesn't matter where you're contacting the ball. Um, okay, this would be a great spot. That would be in my power zone right there, about waist high. Okay, but you're going to hit shots that are lower. You're going to hit some down here, and you're going to hit some up here. But the swing path does not change. The swing path is still low to high, and even when the ball gets high, never think of trying to roll over the ball. You don't want to think that. That's going to mess you up. So you want to always be going up. If the ball was high up here, you're still going up. You know, you might want to do the Nadal buggy whip, but that's fine. Just keep going up and brush it. Now, here's one of the keys. Depending on the shot that you're trying to hit. Now, if I was, let's say my opponent had a weak backhand and I knew that he hated high looping topspin shots that bounce up high to his backhand. So um, I'm going to aim a lot higher over the net and I also have to increase the angle at which my forward swing is, is going on. So let's say waist high ball, I'm trying to drive it. Let's just say I'm, I'm hitting this shot with power. Okay, so I'm going to come down below the ball, boom, I'm coming up, and I drive through, and I come up on my finish. So my swing is low to high, but this angle, let's say if that was the angle of my swing, this represents the low point, and this is my finish, okay? That's a low to high swing. But if I wanted to hit a loopy ball to my opponent's backhand, I might have to increase the angle to get more spin because I have to aim higher. I want that ball to, to loop and to uh, bounce up high. So I might have to change the angle of my swing from this to this. Okay, so see, I've got a much more sharper angle. What is that gonna do? It's gonna give you more spin. And that's what you need when you're aiming a lot higher over the net. If I'm trying to hit a loopy ball to my opponent's backhand, I'm aiming eight, 10, 12 feet over the net, okay? I'm really trying to get it up there and spin the heck out of it so it bounces up high to their backhand. Now, let's say uh, your opponent's coming to the net and you want to hit one of those little sharp angle cross, uh, cross court passing shots. A sharp angle cross court is also going to take a lot of spin. 
So even if the ball was this height, you're going to have to increase the angle. You're going to have to make that angle steeper to, to get more spin. Because when you're going cross court, but you've only got a small piece of pie to, for your shot to land in, otherwise it's going to go wide beyond the single sideline. So you have to increase that spin. And then, let's say I'm in a rally and my opponent hits a ball that kind of sits up and I, I'm thinking I want to I go for a real aggressive outright winner or, you know, the reply is going to be very weak. So, you know, that swing is going to be more horizontal, you know. It's not going to be so steep. It's going to be more like this. See, this will still give you some topspin. Not as much as this, but this is going to also give you topspin. So, the more you go you know, a flatter ball, I w I'm not taught, you can't do that. You need s somewhat of a low to high to impart some topspin. Well, you could do this if the ball was real close to the net. You know, if you're like near the service line, uh, let's say you're near the service line, you can swing straight across. But I'm talking about if you're near on the baseline, okay? You're going to need some of this, to this type of an angle to clear the net so, um, you know, if I was trying to hit the ball for power, my swing is going to be much more horizontal. So um, this is the low point. There's my hit, but the racket's going up. Now here's my racket after I made contact. See, it didn't come up too sharp. It's still driving through and up. So that's going to give you more ball compression not as much spin, and that's what's going to give you the power to be able to uh, hit that winner or force, you know, a weak reply. So let me show you those three shots, and I'll show you from the side also the difference in the swing path. Okay, so let's just say right now I'm hitting that loopy high shot to my opponent's backhand side. can see those balls are kicking up and I'm really I've increased the angle of my swing to give me that high bounce okay let's say I'm going for a short angle passing shot so again I've I have to increase that angle And then if I see an opening and I want to go aggressive for an outright winner or a weak reply, I'm swinging not as much on that angle, more of a horizontal type swing, but it's still some low to high, which will give me control. That's what topspin does. It helps you control the ball more. So now if I was just going down the line, Okay, here's a side view of the loopy shot where I'm hitting a high bouncing ball to my opponent's backhand. Okay, here's a side view of the loopy high topspin shot to the opponent's backhand side. Now notice the angle of the swing is going to be much steeper right there look at how low that racket is it's almost touching the ground from here it's going to go up at contact look at that angle that came up there that's what generates a lot of spin you have to aim high okay now i'm hitting the short angle passing shot You'll be able to see I'm, I'm using that spin. <sighs> okay, here's the short angle 
you need a lot of spin to keep the ball in the court without going wide. So again, I drop the racket way down there, very low. Now I'm going to come up really sharp on this. Right there is contact. Now the wrist can flick up, but not over. Watch as the wrist flicks up. See there, it's flicking up. And now the finish comes back down because of that sharp windshield wiper motion. The racket wants to come back down on the finish. And now well, I'm going for the power, going for the winner. You'll see the swing is much more horizontal. It's got some low to high, but not nearly as much, not as steep an angle up. Okay, here is when I'm going for the winner. I'm really being aggressive, trying to force an error or hit an outright winner. There's the low point, not as low as the other two. Now I'm going to drive through the shot, and you'll see right there, the ball's already gone, but the racket has not come up on that steep angle. It's still driving out. Now there, I turned the wrist over on the finish, but the ball was long gone. So the finish is more over the shoulder on that drive. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please take this one tip to heart. Remember, top spin is created by a low to high racket, that brushing. Never try to roll over the top of the ball. That happens, I mean, the wrist movement happens after the ball is gone. That is key. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. All the best to your tennis success. Take care.